finish there. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Sean. In this video, I'm going to talk about which exercise comes with the most bullshit excuses. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, I want to thank Big Bill from the Team Massive Iron Group for giving me inspiration for this video. And if you have yet to check out Team Massive, you can check it out at my website, link down below. It is a one-time fee to enter the group, and you get micro-coaching and a great environment and keeps you off the shithole that is Facebook. All right, enough of the commercials. What, what exercise comes with the biggest amount of bullshit excuses? So before I, before I reveal that exercise, I want you guys to think a little bit. What do you think it is? What exercise out there uh, comes with the biggest number of bullshit excuses. You know, is it a bench press, a squat, a deadlift, maybe dips or pull-ups? What exercise could it be? Well, when it comes to the bench, right? When it comes to the bench, everyone's pretty, uh, you know, pretty gung-ho for the bench, right? Same for deadlifts. And people like squats or they don't like squats. And sometimes you can get a lot of excuses why people don't like squats. But you know what? Squats aren't the biggest bullshit exercise. You want to know what the biggest bullshit exercise is? Dumbbell rows. Dumbbell rows, dumbbell rows, dumbbell rows. More than any other exercise, when I peruse uh, <laughs> the, the uh, Instagrams or YouTubes or Facebooks or whatever, wherever you're posting your videos, and I see dumbbell exercises, ne in nearly every single case, the weight is ridiculously light versus compared to the capacity that the lifter actually has to move it. Now, everybody freaks out when it comes to the dumbbell row. Everybody freaks out and they make all kinds of bullshit excuses. All kinds of bullshit excuses. You get new rules with the dumbbell row. You get a whole new set of rules. The dumbbell row is special. It comes with its own rule book, its own bro rule book, its own set of rules as to why, why it's okay to remain weak on the lift. Let me explain. On a dumbbell row, you're not allowed to use power at all. No power. No power at all. You're not allowed to drive that elbow back and feel that back. You have to use mind-muscle connection and go really slow and show everybody, prove to everybody in the gym, that you're using mind-muscle connection and going really slow. Look, I'm working my back. Look, I'm working my back with these 45-pound dumbbell rows. Look, I can feel it. No shit, you can feel it. I got news for you. When I do 200-pound dumbbell rows, I can feel my back. <laughs> Feeling your back has nothing to do with that slow-ass speed, but that's the rule book for dumbbell rows. Excuses, excuses. Now, if you do dumbbell rows with any power, you'll be sure to attract all the bro experts who will just lay a fucking egg, shit their pants, need new, need new, need a new set of depends because you actually use power. Now, just as an end cap to this, just as a final note, for those of you freaking out that, that power on a dumbbell row is somehow bad form because that's the special rule, right? That's a special rule. That's the biggest bullshit excuse. My dumbbell row, your dumbbell row has power. Therefore, you have bad form and you're getting nothing out of it. What a crock of shit. What a crock of shit. Uh, but that's the special rule book. Look, let's apply that logic to the bench, right? And I've, I've, I've made, I've talked about this endlessly over the years. If you're on the bench, are you going to do the same mind-muscle connection? I'm going to feel my chest. No, you're not going to do that. Why? Because you want to get the bar off your chest. You're going to generate power, and you can still feel your chest. We're not an idiot. You don't have to go super slow to feel your chest, right? You don't have to sit, make up a new set of rules. How about we apply the set of rules from dumbbell rows and apply it over to the bench press, we have to go super slow and feel it and do the mind. Oh, come on now. <laughs> and squats. Like, if you apply the, the special rules from a dumbbell row to a squat, and out of the hole on a squat, you have to come up really, really, really slowly, very slowly, 
very slowly, very slowly, so you can feel the quads. And on a deadlift, right, let's do the same thing. Let's go really, really slowly, right? Overhead press, right? Overhead press. Okay, I'd like to see you guys apply the same. Let's talk about back exercises for a moment. You ever see half the half the back exercises, half the lat pull downs on on uh, Instagram are like this, right? Right, like this, like this, right? You know, you, I, I don't know what the hell is going on. But if you do a dumbbell row with power, you you have failed failed the entire lifting community. You are using power. You don't know what you're doing. You have poor form, but you can do it on lat pull downs. You can do it on lat pull downs. You can act like a fucking lunatic on lat pull downs. All right. Have I been entertaining enough in this video? The lift with the biggest amount of bullshit excuses is the dumbbell row. You, it's okay to generate power on the dumbbell row. You can still feel your back, if you do it correctly, by driving that elbow and shoulder back and generating power and moving fucking weight. I don't want you to be reckless, right? I don't want you to, I don't want you to just be a fool on this lift and use too much biceps and just crush, you know, just, just, you know, move weight for the sake of moving weight. That's not what I do. And that's not what I'm trying to encourage here. But what I want to encourage you guys to, to do is, challenge yourself on dumbbell rows in the same way you challenge yourself on the other compound movements. If you're stuck at like 40s, 50s, 60s, or 70s, you need to get your head out of your ass and start attacking some weight. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.